Okay, I feel that all people deserve to get to work and have their needs met in order to live and, you know, find salvation or whatever. But for that, we need some order, and sp like, some, you know, I don't know, spiritual communism or something. Because with, you know, if you're overpopulating, you have capitalism and ignorance or whatnot, people are going to be exploiting here in Mexico, which will hurt their system as well as ours. So if you really want to solve this problem, you should try to stop o overpopulation so there's enough resources for everyone, but... You know, change politics to uh, protest the Mexican government to help their citizens, and then maybe they can come here legally is the best plan, you know. Because neither Mexicans or Americans uh, own land in the end, we both stole it. But without some order in government, I mean, even the most illegals, are, if, if they're all good people, some could be escaped mental patients or murderers, and without minimal requirements to be a citizen, America or any nation will be in chaos. What's next? Undocumented drivers? I mean, actually, uh, undocumented means no background check to give licenses because illegals don't bring their documents with them. So there may be a driving instructor or a 10 time DUI, DUI felon. And I doubt illegals come here to avoid driving. And by the way, say it with me English is a form of communication. It doesn't mean you're losing your culture. You are just being lazy by saying, I don't want to learn the language. Look, I don't think English is the best language in the world. In fact, it's probably one of the worst considering how the grammar laws that are weird that we have. But, if you're going to come to a country, you have to learn the language, period. I mean, learning more than one language is wasting time and money. It'd be great if we had one language, you know. But, in the meantime, you got to learn the language if you want to be a part of society. Don't give me these excuses. It's stupid. And it's hard for them to pay their fair share. They work hard and get exploited, hurting themselves as well as the American people who don't profit off it without proper income tax documents. Only the CEOs do. Unless, of course, they fake Social Security documents to pay small taxes and get back a lot more in social services. I understand it may be unrealistic or considered to deport millions of people. So maybe an amnesty ban well thought out could work after the penalties fine documents are finished. With that said, uh, consider a few points. It's not racist or anti-immigration to call illegals illegal aliens, which is the only term used in federal courts because they are criminals. Uh, they're not undocumented or anything like that. And Mexico is not a poor country. They have more resources per square mile than the U.S. does. So don't protest the U.S. You know, fix the problems in their exploitation or whatever. And don't protest the U.S. flag and hold another country's flag if you want to be a part of a country. Look, I'm not saying America is the best country. In fact, I'll be the first to admit that America is one of the bad countries in the world. Well, probably atypical. I mean, we came here and we fought the uh, uh, English to have our own free nation, but at the same time we were fighting the natives whose nation this was. Uh, then after that, during slavery, half the people were fighting against it, half the people were fighting for it. Then, of course, in World War One, we were on the right side, okay. In World War Two, we were on the right side only after being attacked. And in Vietnam and Iraq, we were uncalled for to go there, and we support Saudi Arabia for some reason. And we have one of the highest crime rates in the world, and we're responsible for most of the pollution in the world, and, and we eat most of the animals in the world, and so on. Uh, illegal aliens are not necessarily coming here to work. Some do, but some may end up in prison. Lou Dobbs report 33% of the prison population are comprised of illegal immigrants. I don't know about that. Plus 36 to 42% are on welfare. So, uh, anyways, even if they do come here to work, I'm pretty sure that their goal is ultimately to find a better job and take the better jobs, or at least their children have that opportunity. So, I mean, you're just flipping the bill back and forth. And they don't contribute more than they cost. Uh, obviously the ones in prison or on welfare don't contribute a dime to our economy. The ones who fake social securities um, usually get, get back more on social services than they do pay in taxes. Uh, the economy doesn't depend on them. Only filthy rich CEOs who exploit them do. Without illegal aliens, the price of these agriculture policies will not soar. Uh, there was a study done in uh, University of Iowa how much is tomato? And working is like very small percentages, the labor that is. Consumers are not benefiting from labor costs, CEOs, uh, or maybe Mexican government who just doesn't have to deal with them. So before you believe the lies, you know, you gotta do your some research. Consider that obviously if you're them, trying to earn a better living, okay, can't blame them. They should have minimal needs met regardless. But if you're an American citizen, you should have your needs met first and you have a right to complain, hey, why am I losing my job? I came here legally, you know? 
So I would say probably it's the CEOs who are liking the system where they make a law and don't enforce it. I mean, make a law and enforce it or don't have a law. You can't have it both ways. Then people who wait in line get screwed. That's not fair. And I'm sure this is going to open the door to some other issues. Uh, for example, and while I'm at on topic, I might as well talk about uh, uh, nationality. First of all, there is no such thing as a race, okay? But it's a biological fact, and if you're at all spiritual, you'll, you would have known that. So people are wasting their time pointing fingers at this and that race. It's about, uh, even a nation, there's no such thing, ultimately. Because, I mean, there's land is land on earth or whatever. So, and, and if you're religious also, if you want to hide behind that, well, you know, we're all God's creation. Or however you want to call it. I mean, I know it sounds kind of corny, but yeah, that's a fact. So, the only thing we can say is that the nation is like, uh, established boundaries to have some kind of order, you know? And racism is just mammals trying to classify over too much, so. People need to realize these things when they consider issues. And I said something about capitalism that'll probably get debated. First of all, go to myspace.com slash human awakening. I wrote more details on this because this is very complex and it can be debated both ways. Uh, capitalism, obviously the main problem is that uh, people are against each other and nature because they're all trying to compete to get stuff they don't need and it's not worth it. You know, people suffer as a process and there is not, it doesn't have to be survival the fittest. There are enough resources for everyone. You know, farmers could feed the world many times over if we didn't have things like subsidiaries, which is like saying, hey, um, keep prices high by uh, taking this money and destroying your cops. That crops, that's what led to the Great Depression. But uh, yeah, I know the problem with communism is that uh, uh, people might not do or as much as they should and may might take more than they need because they're like, well, I don't care about the state or the society. Uh, I think a spiritual center will probably be more ideal. Uh, this is a very short um, breakdown on it. I mean, capitalism offers a lot, but there's a huge drawback. Communism is the most ideal system, friendly and efficient. It's most friendly and efficient for each person to focus on what they're good at for themselves and the good of society. But the problem is that uh, it's hard to enforce properly. Uh, you can debate that later if you want to. Go to the website. Uh, myspace.com says you've been waking look at the economic blog where I give some more detail and uh, I think that's about it uh, alright I'm sure I'll be attacked and supported either way but yeah they don't know what we're talking about they don't know what we're thinking about they don't know what we're dealing with but they don't know a lot of shit San Fernando's the home of the players and pimps San Fernando's the home of the gangs and cliques San Fernando's the home of a lot of shit Every motherfucker should know where I live San 